Good morning, everybody. This is Robin. I am Katahdin Cook and Mama. And this morning, I'm reading from the book of Isaiah. I'm reading chapter 32. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes, prince shall rule in judgment, and a man shall be as a hidden place from the wind, and a covet from the tempest, as rivers of water, in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock, in a weary land. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the scammers shall be ready to speak plainly. The vile person will speak vigilantly, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord to make empty the soul of the hungry and will cause the drink of the thirst to fail. The instruments also of the curl are evil. He devised wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. But liberal devise liberal things, and, and by liberal things shall he stand. Rise up, ye women that are at cease. Hear my voice, ye clearless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women of the vintage shall fall, fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth along your girns, loins, and they shall lament for the tree tears, for the pheasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in a joyous city, because the places shall be forsaken and the multitude of the city shall be left and the forts and towers shall be for dens in ever a joy of wild asses a pleasure a pasture of flocks until the spirit be poured upon us from on high in the wilderness of a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be counted for forests, and the judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness remain in the fruitful field, and the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effects of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. And my people shall dwell in peaceful habitation, in sure dwellings, in quiet resting places, and it shall hail coming down on the forest, and the city shall be low in a low place. Blessed are ye that sow beside all waters, and send forth thither the feet of the ox and the ass. So I hope this bonds you well. I hope you have the peace that passes all understanding. And if you need prayer, please comment below. Thank you for joining me on this blessed day. Bye-bye.